tortoises are cold-blooded animals who live in burrows below the surface of the earth. Hello, my name is Chuck and this beautiful lady is Gwen and welcome to the great outdoors. We are about to take you below the surface of the earth into the world of the gopher tortoise. You're not going to crawl down into that burrow, are you? <laughs> no, Gwen. See, one of the roommates of the gopher tortoise is the diamondback rattlesnake. Besides, the openings are usually no more than six to eight inches high. During the last few weeks, the guys at Great Outdoors Productions have been designing and building a subterranean camera mount. Nothing elaborate, just a cheap little 4x4 remote control battery operated truck that they uh, took the body off and mounted platforms to attach a GoPro camera, battery, and a video transmitter. It has all had to be under 8 inches high. Okay, so that explains why they would always be in secret and lock themselves in that room over there at the studio, right? Ah, okay. Now I add it. This vehicle must have the ability to get down into the burrows. And while it's moving, record all the activity and occupants of that burrow. That means it must drive under its own power and have a separate power supply to power the transmitter which sends a video back to us outside the burrow. It must also power a bright enough light to illuminate the burrow so its contents can be recorded. The camera, which is a GoPro Silver and recording at 60 frames per second and shooting in normal mode, the camera is connected to a TS-352 5.8 gigahertz wireless transmitter which transmits the video signal to the receiver we are watching. Recording is done by the GoPro camera. So we will be able to see what, if anything, is in these burrows. So with the information which burrows are occupied, we can come back in the spring, set up cameras, and record exactly what time they come out and return to the burrows. That way we can catch them out of their burrows and determine what sex they are. Then after mating season, we can track the females in their egg mounds. Thus, being able to protect the eggs from predators like raccoons, birds, foxes, and many other animals. That's right, Gwen. That's why this vehicle is so important. There are other ways to check burrows with more expensive and specialized cameras. But well, Great Outdoors is a low-budget operation, so this will work. They even put a metal cable which surrounds the vehicle in case it gets stuck in a burrow. That way they just pull on the cable and the vehicle pulls out. Well, we hope. So let's take a look at this vehicle from the first stage until completion. So folks, stay with us. We'll be right back. first thing we had to do was uh, take our vehicle and take it apart. Now once we had it apart, once we had the body off, we could uh, see just exactly what we had to do in order to get our truck to uh, hold the equipment that uh, we were going to install on the uh, frame of the truck. Once we did that, we had to make screw holders, so we took small pieces of plastic and uh, cut them out and then uh, epoxied them to the sides and put a screw in it. Wow. Uh, and we started uh, cutting plastic uh, and made uh, the back and the front was made out of the top of a GoPro uh, container. This, this is the rear. Uh, it's made out of a CD disc. This is the front. This is a, uh, a GoPro uh, container that, that it's the top of it when you buy it. And we had to, of course, uh, chop on the frame and stuff. And we finally had to take off those plastic uh, headers. 
and after we got that done you can see where we put the, had screws in and uh, we put a strap on to hold the battery and the uh, transmitter and in the front where we mounted the camera we heated up the plastic and bent the front down to give it a little bit more strength going into the uh, burrows. Now that we had it roughed out, we were just kind of trying to plan what we needed to do next. And of course, we had to take our transmitter and we had to wire up the power and the video cord. These are the plugs that we had to specially cut to fit into a, uh, a tri-plug battery connector. Uh, this is a connector that we use to hook up to the GoPro camera. This is the transmitter. The wires on the left are the ones that uh, go to the transmitter. The ones on the right are the ones that connect to the battery. And This is the GoPro camera that we use. You can see that the uh, transmitter is fed there by that red and black cable. We had to keep it down as under 8 inches, and that's really what we were concerned about was the 8 inches uh, of, of ground clearance. And we tried to stay under that and put a light on the front. Uh, it's got a, it's 26 LEDs. It is very bright. And the camera, of course, works in semi-low light condition. And, of course, we had to to see how it transmitted and uh, so we ran the car around a little bit and uh, seen what was going on with the transmitter that the camera and everything was working and uh, Sassy she don't like the helicopter and she darn sure doesn't like the car and introducing the 2014 Portis we're pretty proud of this car. Uh, we can't wait to get out and test it. We've got to wait till it gets cold and, and dry. And uh, as soon as that happens, we'll have it out and uh, we'll get it on tape and see if we fail or if we succeed. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, Happy New Year. And uh, welcome to the great outdoors. Goodbye.